This is Prometheus giving you a game recap. I'm rolling with the Giants. My opponent, Total Chaos 1717, is rolling with the Buffalo Bills. Fairly good matchup. Both teams ranked in the mid 70s. Uh, this is a shout out to all of my Giant users out there. Uh, if you guys use the Giants, you're exclusive to the Giants. I want to give out mad props and hats to you because I have found that this team is probably the most frustrating team to play with. On paper, they look like they're a marginally pretty good team. They've got a lot of 80 rate players, but they just don't perform that way. So uh, for you guys that use the, the Giants, I just want to give my hats off to you because I struggled with them. And I got a few game plays I want to show with you with this team. Able to go ahead and do the halfback force with Wilson and able to go up by seven points. So my opponent comes back, hits me over the middle. Uh, it looks like an, either a drag or an in route. Then does play action uh, with the strong close and hits me in another in route. And then comes over and is able to uh, get me uh, over the middle again and does a pitch. I contain him up with my defensive back and uh, he hits me over the middle, but my man is there to pick him off. He throws into his zone. So I have an opportunity here to go up by two scores and that's so critical in Madden 25 is to be able to get a turnover uh, on defense. I hit him with the buck sweep once, be able to get some pretty good blocking, picks up about eight yards, get another first down with the buck sweep again. Come back to the bunch set, hitch him up on a third and 10 situation, and I hurried up quickly, and unfortunately, he tackles me because my uh, linemen don't hold blocks. Uh, and that's actually gonna be a theme of the game. You're gonna see later on that uh, the team makes a, a mistake. And right there, my defender's in the area with the hands up and does not get the CPU pick and he pay, makes me pay for it in the next play, able to go up and uh, actually tie up the game at 7-7. So with uh, less than a minute left, I do the buck sweep with, with Brown, I able to get it into uh, a pass of 50, then go ahead and hit the buck sweep again with Wilson. But right here, the clock keeps moving and I'm forced to actually go ahead and throw over the middle uh, and get the ball inside the 20 and settle for three points. But that is okay, I'm getting the ball on a kickoff and if I go ahead and just take this ball down, I can go up by 10. You gotta be kidding me. And this is the thing, this is the theme that you're gonna see with Giants gameplay and just with me playing against the Giants is that the Giants just seem to make mistakes when they do that. Now, I wanna share with you a, a blitz, a very easy setup blitz. Basically, you, you uh, crash the line, you put one of your linemen, you put them into a flat zone, you take your linebacker and manually move them over. And this is an A-gap blitz from Sports Gamer. I'll put the tag or his, his uh, channel on the bottom, but you need to look at it. Very fast blitz, easy to set up. Uh, and in today's game, you need fast blitz. You can't do something that's got six uh, different adjustments. So uh, because of the blitz, I'm able to go ahead and make them settle for three points, which is always a win on defense when you get into the red zone. So the score is tied 10-10. Uh, I'm able to go ahead and hit the corner on the halfback force and then come over and he hits me with some kind of a blitz. Uh, I don't know if he actually got a user uh, on that. So uh, I have to settle in a third and 22 over the middle and then I get an interception right here on fourth down and he gets the ball back. He hits me with a wildcat of all things and you know anytime I have an opponent use a wildcat I get frustrated but uh, it's not frustrated because I can't stop it, it's just it seems like it's such an old type of play but he's able to pick up some pretty good yards. Comes back over the corner and hit him in, in, get him in a, a tough situation and then he hits me over the corner and catches the ball. My, my receivers wouldn't catch this. And look at the corner, it doesn't come down and tackle the guy and unfortunately gets into the end zone. So I try running Wilson up to the middle and get five yards on that. Hitch up uh, Hicks and able to go get another first down. Then do a corner and run up, uh, a, cor uh, a counter and run up the middle. Uh, in a third and two situation, I get the ball down to the one yard line. I do a hurry up into the same play set, which is uh, a twin. Um, strong set, uh, able to go ahead and get it past the line and get it inside the 50-yard line. So four minutes left on the clock, 
come back around, hit the wide trail, able to go ahead and pick up a first down, get it to the 32 yard line, and then uh, hit an out route, uh, get it into uh, the 20 yard line, and do another wide trail to get it into the 10 yard line, do a pitch to the outside. Wilson is not fast enough to get to the corner, get into second and two, he burns one of his timeouts, go back to the right side, Wilson's unable to get into the end zone. I try to dive to get in there, he burns another timeout. So a minute 30 left, I go ahead and do the QB dive, and Eli gets pushed in for the touchdown. So on first down, I actually go ahead and do a shot, a shot block, able to get it into 214. He misses a play, gets it into a third and 14, hits an out route, I'm able to tackle him. And here, fourth and three, uh, he's, he's down to one play. I decided to do an all-out blitz just to change things up a little bit because I was running a lot of his, uh, coverage. I didn't want to have him any time to think about it. And he throws the ball to his running back and is able to take it into the end zone to go up by a score. So less than 43 seconds left, one timeout, and he hits me with a sack on the first play of the game digging me in a hole, taking up 20 seconds. I figured I'd just hang the ball up there. Uh, his defender's in the way. Third and 14, I go ahead, hit a crossing route, but look at the Giants here. He fumbles the ball. I was past the first down marker, marker, and the ball goes on a fourth and one situation. I tried to hit him with a screen, which I didn't do the entire game, and he actually cleans me up with the user, and I take the loss. So, you know, the one thing is playing with the Giants is just it's a very tough, a tough game. So I decided to go ahead and ready up with another team. Uh, going against the Titans with a Thurman. Once again, this is my second game play. Uh, he, I tried to take a shot up the middle because this guy, this guy spread off, but I had drop passes. And it's just the theme of this team is that you drop passes when you got to do that. So there's another drop pass right there. Uh, he, I dropped interceptions. Interceptions weren't even getting caught. He comes back around to the other side. I got another guy and a defender in the way, but he drops the pass. So I'm just going to get blown out by this guy. He's able to go up into the in the middle and uh, get a, uh, a touchdown right there. But here, another drop pass situation in the third and nine. Uh, just couldn't stop him. So even when, I, even when I was dropping passes or making some good plays, I was getting sacked. So I literally got blown out by this guy uh, with the Titans. So going against the Eagles, this is 0-2 already. Fumbled play. <laughs> His defender picks it up and takes it into the end zone. Another play, uh, my defender's nowhere and can never keep up to this guy, so this guy's able to do this. Even when I stop him on defense, I have my def uh, my defensive back, he actually misjudges the ball, uh, I do, <laughs> and he gives the ball right back. In this situation, I get a defended ball in the end zone, another interception. Uh, Giants, I, I struggled with this team, this is a atrocious team, but I was determined to get some kind of a win with this team. So, once again, another matchup against the Bills, and I'm kind of happy because it's not a better team than I'm playing against, they're fairly equal teams. Uh, going to the halfback force, able to go ahead and get a first down, or then some, good 15 yards on that carry. Do a play action play, able to hit over the middle, but another drop pass. So. Third and seven situation, a hitch up my wide receiver. And the ball is actually misthrown by Eli. Fourth and seven, I actually come back to a hitch and Cruz actually comes down with it. So in this situation, I go ahead and hit him with the uh, Bucks sweep, able to go ahead and pick up a first down on that. Come back to the strong halfback force, uh, able to go ahead and pick up another first down on that do uh, play action, able to hit the out route uh, and get a first down and then go back to the force again, get some good blocking and able to get into the end zone. So up seven to zero, my opponent starts taking off of this quarterback and I see his quarterback's running all over the place. So what I have to do is start putting my guys in contains to try to protect against it. But he hits me in the seam and makes one hell of a uh, play right there with the spin moves, gets the score tied seven, seven. So, on a third and nine situation, uh, I try to hit the corner again, and it's a drop pass. So in a fourth down situation, I go ahead and hitch up my player, and he actually comes down with the ball, fortunately for me. Uh, do an off, um, actually uh, a weak side uh, isolation play. Come back to the strong power, got some nice blocking, but uh, his defenders were there. I, I got a little move right there with Wilson to be able to get a first down. 
and trying to hit the corner out, but just bad plays by Eli. So I don't know if I'm playing bad with the Giants or the Giants are bad, but they're just atrocious team. Able on a fourth down situation to be able to pick up a play. I figured he was expecting a strong power, so I tried to use the stretch play because it just has a little bit different blocking. Uh, and I was able to go ahead and get it into uh, onto the five yard line, do a little pitch to the outside, and is able to take it in to go up 14 to seven. So my opponent goes ahead, scrambles out, uh, he just seems to be waiting and waiting for some kind of a play. Scramble to the, to, to the right, go back to the, the left, uh, and he's just running around crazy and then dives the ball because I guess he's worried about actually fumbling it. Goes back up to the right, hits uh, the running back in the flat. So you can see my coverages. I've got pretty much zones all over the place. I've got a container on the right side because it keeps scrambling off to the right-hand side. Able to get him on a sack in this particular situation. Put him in a second and thir a 13 situation. Once again, put a bunch of yellow zones up. He tries to hit me with the screen. I'm able to go ahead and hit, uh, contain that up. And I come back uh, with a contain on one side and I've got uh, a, a QB spy. He throws into my yellow zone and I'm able to go ahead, do a back juke right here and get into the end zone going up 21-7. So uh, reading my opponent, he likes to scramble around, around with his quarterback. Uh, he's, he's waiting for players to break open, so I'm using zones and I'm trying to contain him, not allowing him to get in the outside. Right here, he hits the guy over, he hits his running back over the middle, gets it to a fourth and one situation. I try to do some left hand uh, uh, blitz off the side, throws over the middle with defenders in the area, but is able to catch it at the 45 yard line. Uh, and to get a first down. So first and 10 situation, contain my guys. He hits me over the middle on a little angle route with the running back, comes back around, throws into coverage, but is able to hit the levels uh, with his wide receiver. Comes back around with the angle route, and he's able to hit his, quarter, his running back again with the angle route. And he's essentially going to the flat right here. Here's a situation I'm able to go ahead and sack him with my, my guy in the flap. Uh, get him into a third and goal situation, hits me in the middle of the, of the, of the defense and goes up, actually goes down by a score. And fortunately for me, uh, I guess you get a disconnect right here and the game is over. So, you know, uh, it's, I tell you, you guys who play with the Giants, Giants are just a very, very tough team to play with real frustrating team. I, my hat's off to you Giants players that are loyal to your team and you stick with the team, but Giants are just atrocious and they just find ways to lose between drop passes and bad plays. So thanks again for my subscribers. I just wanted to show you that everybody gets into slumps. This is a giant slump for me. Lost three games in a row. I'm probably never going to play with the Giants again until the new game releases. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Hit the like button if you watch this whole video.